Rob, this video is going to be another viewer request, and I'm going to discuss what my biggest fears are of the Godzilla 2014 movie. Okay guys, welcome back. So, and just to give some of you guys a heads up, um, I, I want you to know that while uh, you may be seeing some video requests going up, just to let you guys know, I will be covering everyone's requests. So if you don't see it right away, don't lose faith. You might see it another day or a couple of days later. <clears throat> I am kind of going on them at random. So uh, just want to give you guys a heads up. Now, my biggest fear of the Godzilla 2014 movie. Oh God, you know, it's, it's funny this question pops up after I've seen Monsters. Because there were, while there's some elements of, of uh, Gareth Edwards' style that I'm dying to see in this movie, and, and I'll discuss that on another video because I've been planning to do that, there are some things that kind of got me a little scared. Um, you know, when we talk about, for example, the Muto, my fear here is that they're building the Muto monsters up so high that they're going to come out to look like not something special at all. For example, if you saw my, my monsters review, <clears throat> I wasn't impressed with the monsters in the movie. They they just did not look like anything original to me. They weren't. They really weren't original in my opinion. I, I they looked like octopus, walking octopus. That's all they looked like. So that's a little bit concerning in terms of the Muto design. Is it gonna be just something very, very simplified? Which if it is, it's that's gonna be a major letdown and a major criticism of the movie. Um and things in the movie could lead to a flop. So that's obviously another fear, is that something in the movie that's not very popular amongst hardcore fans and the general public, this leads it to be a flop. Um, I think my other fear is not seeing enough of Godzilla. Uh, this whole silhouette thing, while I know they're kind of doing it so you see as much as you can see without seeing the whole thing, and f overall, in my opinion, I think that we won't be seeing any silhouettes for the most part. It's still kind of concerning because uh, I don't want to... See, I understand the reality of it is that if this monster is trudging through the city and knocking buildings down left and right, he's naturally going to have dust clouds surrounding him. But I don't want to see that all movie. I really don't. I, I think that'll be a big Debbie Downer. You know what I mean? Like, people say, there's Godzilla, but you can't really see him. And then I don't want to wait till the end. Like, there's some, some movies where they'll do that. They'll show you, like the highlight of the monster at the end of the movie. And I'm not talking about the kaijus per se. I'm excuse me, I'm talking about I'm not talking about kaijus per se. I'm talking about like even regular monster movies like like uh like aliens. Like you don't see the alien till later on in the movie. Uh, obviously it's not a letdown because the design was fantastic. But I would hate to see like silhouette here, a silhouette there, and then like one minute you might see his head but not his face. Or you might see his tail and not the rest of his body. And then at the very end of the movie you get to see his whole body. And I don't think we're gonna get that, but those are some things I fear. I think the other thing that kind of scares me is um, short. I don't want a short movie. I want a long-winded movie. I mean, it has to be good to be that long. Like, uh, you know, I remember when I saw Return of the King, the extended edition. Man, I was so into that movie. I, I didn't realize that when it was all said and done, that movie was like freaking almost five hours. You know? Um, so, you know, because they had the extended ending and this and that. But, I, you know, so I, I would love for it to be like a three-hour, two-hour and 45-minute marathon. But... It doesn't feel that way because there's a good amount of action, a good amount of story development. Uh, you get to see, because you know, you got to see the monsters for a good amount of time. Like, I understand if leading up to their reveal, you want to do the whole hide it thing and let it be a mystery. And, and during that time, you're developing the characters and the catastrophes going on. But I think the last hour of the movie, in my opinion, should be a fucking Godzilla monster mash. A combination of destroying cities, killing people. I know people, I always sound so graphic when I say that, but I, it's a monster movie. There, there, there will be blood. It's a monster movie. There should be blood. But what I'm saying is, you know, I think the last hour should be all Godzilla. I think it should be a two and a half hour movie where the first 45 minutes are people, hints of Godzilla, his emergence, more plot development, destroying the military, this and that. Then we get to the last hour, the last 45 minutes, and it's all Godzilla just fighting other uh, the Muto monster, the city getting destroyed. And 
That's just me. So my other fear is that it's a very short movie. I don't want it to be short. Even two hours for me is too short. I think it needs to be at least a two hour and a half movie because you got three monsters that are supposed to be in this movie. You got an all star cast of characters. And I think that they all need to have a fair share of screen time. So I think two and a half hours is good. Uh, I think Garish, you know, he made monsters, $500,000, and it was, what, an hour and a half? He's got $160 million, so there's no there's no need to have an excuse not to add on an extra hour to your next movie. So <laughs> so that's just my opinion. But, yeah, I would say um, short movie, not seeing enough of Godzilla, the Muto monsters being built up right now and then being a disappointment. I would say those are my fears for the most part. And, of course, uh, as a result of those things, the movie flopping. So tech, like three, really, but technically you could say four. Those are my biggest fears. Flop, Godzilla not being seen enough, Muto Monsters design not being anything special and being a real letdown and a very short movie. Those are my biggest fear for the movie, but outside of that, uh, I really can't think of anything else. I think that's pretty much it. So, anyway, guys, see you next video. Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. I'm your host, Rob. This video is going to be another viewer request, and I'm going to discuss what my biggest fears are of the Godzilla 2014 movie. Okay, guys, welcome back. So, and just to give some of you guys a heads up, um, I, I want you to know that while uh, you may be seeing some video requests going up, just to let you guys know, I will be covering everyone's requests. So if you don't see it right away, don't lose faith. You might see it another day or a couple of days later. <clears throat> I am kind of going on them at random. So uh, just want to give you guys a heads up. Now, my biggest fear of the Godzilla.